Nothing to lose, Sugar Poo. Let's see if he fights that way. He backed Mendy up in the 10th round of their uh, fight. There's an uppercut from Ward. He's trying to land that hook uppercut in reverse order, perhaps. Yeah, Ward looked extremely aggressive in this round. Drives Buchanan back once again. Well, the value in this fight for Andre Ward, Nick, is, to me, is singular, which is that he's getting 12 rounds in. It's a fighter who has not, partly because of injuries, has not kept a fast pace coming out of the Olympics, and uh, he needs rounds, and that's what he's getting, but no test. No test whatsoever tonight, would you agree? No, and we didn't think so. And really, uh, Buchanan, the guy who just not acting like he belongs in the same ring in the same league and it's clear and that's been the story start to finish shaking off the shots from Ward at the top Nick I talked about attitude and discipline being two very big differences between the two it turned out there's a third word I could use too which is which is just plain aggressiveness Ward came out like he wanted to win the fight and Buchanan instantly took a negative defensive role yeah and kept it for pretty much with, with a few seconds here and there of aggressiveness, pretty much kept it throughout the fight. Steve, I think the one word is ability, and uh, Andre Ward has a lot more of it. I actually flirted with the idea of Buchanan in the 11th round. Did you? I didn't. <laughs> Sometimes in these type of fights, you see a guy do a little something, yeah. and we, we uh, overreact <laughs> because he's done nothing before. I think that I'm guilty. I understand. Thirty seconds to go. Ward, Andre Ward goes twelve for the first time in his career. Stop! Stop! Break clean. Hands are up. Box. And Henry Buchanan's claim in this fight. I was standing at the final bell. And that would be it. Stop on the bell. While we wait for the decisions, while we wait for the decision, Sunday nights on Showtime are now playful, provocative, and brand new. Introducing the new Sunday nights, L Word, United States of Terra, and Secret Diary of a Call Girl. And it's Jai, as we look, wait for the Official decision, we look at Josh Barnett, a mixed martial arts star, heavyweight, and a reminder that MMA returns to Showtime Saturday night, April 11th, with Strike Force. Full night of action from San Jose, California. We're in the central coast town of uh, Lamore, California, where Jimmy Lennon Jr. will make our main event official now. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. All three judges scored about the same, 120 to 108. All three in favor of the winner, and still undefeated, the champion, Andre S.O.G. Ward.
Andre Ward did it every way possible in this fight for all 12 rounds. Kept good focus. That's the closest he came to doing any serious damage against Buchanan. It was actually a left hook and a clinch. But I think the, the reason, Buch one of the reasons Buchanan offered very little back in terms of counterpunching was he didn't know where the punches were coming from. Bad enough Ward switches from orthodox to southpaw. But he was jabbing up, he was jabbing down, he was leading to the body, leading to the head, throwing in combination, a lot of different shots. It confused Buchanan from the very start. Buchanan had the fight taken out of him really inside the first uh, 20 seconds. Well, Steve, then you look ahead and you say, here's a guy ranked three in the BC, three in the BO, 10 in the BA, that puts him in line the fight for a title really maybe this year without ever really being challenged there's a lot of good guys in this division who would be I think a perfect test for him oh yeah well when you have a talent like Andre Ward to me Nick it's not about fighting for a title it's about developing because he has the potential like many great Olympic gold medalists before him to be very very special now these are the guys I don't put Unlike the alphabets, I don't put Andre Ward in the top 10. He hasn't beaten a top 15 contender yet. Calzaghe, of course, out of the division, officially retired now. He was fighting at 175 toward the end anyway. Kessler is the leader of the division, fights mostly in Europe. Boutet, we've seen on Showbox. We'll see him again against Fulgencio Zuniga in, on Showbox in March. He's a very, very tough undefeated fighter. Jermaine Taylor's been talked about for... Andre Ward. It's a very, very deep division. It's a, it's sort of uh, needs definition because Calzaghe was dominant for so long.